This is Precalc 12, Chapter 2.3. We're going to be analyzing rational functions algebraically this time. The domain is x is all reals, except NPVs. Okay, the first question. Where are the vertical asymptotes or holes? They occur at the zeros of Q of X. When do you have holes versus vertical asymptotes? Well, you get holes where you can cancel out a factor between P of X and Q of X. Otherwise, it's a vertical asymptote. Next question. When do you get a horizontal asymptote? Okay, the first condition is when the degree of Q of X is greater than or equal to the degree of P of X. If the degree is equal, then you get a horizontal asymptote where Y equals A over B. And here we have A as the leading coefficient of P of X and B as the leading coefficient of Q of X. Otherwise, if the degree of Q of X is just greater than the degree of P of X, the horizontal asymptote is Y equals zero. Next question, when do you get a slant asymptote, also known as oblique asymptote? You get a slant asymptote when the degree of P of X equals the degree of Q of X plus one. And there also has to be a vertical asymptote, uh, otherwise there's no slant asymptote. And you can calculate the slant asymptote by using polynomial division. Here, this quadratic does not have rational roots, so there's nothing to cancel out with x plus 3. So we can just carry out the polynomial division. Remember, synthetic division, uh, x minus a, so a in this case is negative 3. So we bring down a 2, negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Add them together, we get negative 3. And we only need the quotient. So the slant asymptote is y is equal to 2x minus 3. For something like this, we cancel out factors, which means that there's no vertical asymptotes. When we cancel out factors, we have a hole. So this is x plus 1. No slant asymptote. Okay, let's look at another example. We have a factor that we can cancel out, so that's a hole. We have a factor that doesn't cancel out, so this is a vertical asymptote. The degree here is 2, the degree here is 1, so that means we have a slant asymptote. We need to FOIL this so we can get uh, a quadratic that we can divide. This is x squared minus x minus 20. So our synthetic division is 4, 1, negative 1, negative 20. Bring down the 1. Multiply 4 times 1, we get 4. Add them together, that's 3. And that's all we need. So our slant asymptote is y equals x plus 3. Let's look at some more quick examples. Here we have factors that we can cancel out, so this is a whole. So at negative 2, x equals negative 2. So 1, 2, there should be a hole here. And we have two vertical asymptotes. x equals 1, x equals 4. So we see at 1 and 4. We have degree 2 in the numerator, degree 3 in the denominator. This means we have a horizontal asymptote of y equals 0. Degree 2 over degree 3. Let's look at our next example. We have no zeros here. The denominator here has no zeros. We can check the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. So this is 1 minus 4 times 
2 times 7. That's less than 0, so no discriminant. This means we have no vertical asymptotes. But we can check the horizontal asymptote because we have degree 2 over degree 2. And because they're equal, we need to check the leading coefficients. So horizontal asymptote is y equals 4 over 2. So y equals 2. y equals 2. Next example. x squared plus x minus 6 all over x plus 1. We know we need to factor this. We have x plus 3, x minus 2 over x plus 1, no common factors. So this is a vertical asymptote, x equals negative 1. We have degree 2 over degree 1. We have a vertical asymptote, so we know there is a slant asymptote. So we need to do synthetic division, negative 1, 1, 1, negative 6, bring down the 1, multiply, we have negative 1, add them together, 0, and we only need the quotient, so the slant asymptote is y equals x. y equals x, slant asymptote. Last example, we have a quartic divided by a quadratic. Use your calculator to plot this until you learn some graphing rules. So we have no common factors. So this is a vertical asymptote and another vertical asymptote. And this is x equals negative 1, x equals 4 negative 1, x equals 4. And we have no horizontal asymptotes because we have degree 4 over degree 2. No horizontal asymptote. And that completes this lesson on algebraic evaluation of rational functions.